Hey, welcome back to my channel, Disco, and we're playing more Genshin Impact. We're all more like reacting to the story because I'm not really doing much playing. <laughs> These are. Uh, I feel like we're fighting less and we're actually just reacting to the story. Maybe I should just grab a webcam. Maybe I will do that for. Um, Fontaine. But here we are. Back with more. Finishing impact. Actually, we've got a warp. So we're stuck in a time loop. And so far, everything that's been happening has been happening over and over again. There you are. Really took yeah, there's Daya. Doing his art again. She's up on the belt. It hurt. Why would I? Don't well, you're still getting yep. used to your new great sword. But huh. your metal memory. Truth be told, I also think it's pretty strange. Mm -hmm. It just suddenly felt so familiar in my hands and... It Wait well, you used second. it about 40 you know something times. Traveler, could you explain the situation to her today? Hyman's gotten a little sick of Let's just get straight to the point. Yeah, you suddenly became proficient to it because uh, we lived this through the same day many times already. What happened to you guys while I was gone? Did you get brainwashed by some cult? Nope. Our uh, memory has been uh, wiped at the end of each day. Also, we need to start the autoplay. All right then, let me get this straight. You're telling me that my body's already gotten used to this great sword, but my brain just doesn't remember it? Yes, your memory is being erased every day. Then I'd At the have to end of each day. That's impossible. Oh? We thought so Why as well. Do you think that? If we've actually been reliving the Subzerus festival day after day, then what happened to the things we used, the money we spent, the food we ate? Common sense no, that's true. my wallet should have emptied itself a long time ago. Hmm, but if the sages were behind us... If they utilize the entire city's resources as well as information supplied by the Akasha, Wait, yeah. We could use the Akasha to record what everyone did that day, and then use the city's resources to replenish everything! Interesting. It's not very likely, but it's also not impossible. So it's not the no, entire... it is impossible. I've got proof. You what? have proof? Where? How? Where? You two are surprisingly serious about this nonsensical discussion. Come with me, Miss Dunyarzad. Yeah. Please come along as well. Is it? Huh? Oh, okay. This is the wooden tree. See those marks on the dummy? Those are the result of several days worth of practice. Let's say yeah. the sages didn't replace it every day. Shouldn't it be hacked to pieces by now? True. That's true, but what if they did? Then the sages that's would have had to reproduce every mark I left during previous training sessions. I'm a professional fighter. My martial school has always emphasized the importance of refined control. The right. force, angle, and entry point of each strike is calculated and deliberate. That's why I remember every mark on the dummy, as well as my state of mind as I made each strike. But has she actually say, done any each training though? has their own unique style. And even the same swordsman can't make the same cut twice. It would be impossible mm -hmm. to copy these marks. Is it really impossible? <gasps> what if they use some fancy machine to carve every single mark? Now you're stretching it a little bit, Paimon. The camera's photo can never replace an artist's painting because the former has no spirit to it. Mm -hmm. The same thing applies here. At a mere glance, I can differentiate carved marks from the results of combat training. Hmm, we'll have to abandon this theory Hope then. that cleared things up for you. Hey, is this that new brain exercise game that's been super popular with the scholars lately? Uh, we're not exactly fun. a scholar, so... Anyway, yeah. it's getting late. I should escort Miss Dunyarzad to Nilu's stage. See you later. Yeah, and unfortunately it's going to get cancelled. So we're that's repeating things one. again. Is our memory deletion theory also wrong? <sighs> but it's not a time loop. But at least we've reached some conclusions in the yes, we're not in the real true. world so can we think strange a simulation Kinda feels like everything's been strange lately well we never thought about leaving the city okay leaving the city i did i was thinking You're of right. doing a few it's things really strange how we never thought of such a simple solution whilst i was Many editing well i was thinking of doing a few things whilst i was editing and rendering but then when i tried to leave I did get an error message, so I thought we may as well just record some more content whilst we're at it. How about we go back and ask Nahida? Alright. Let's ask. Nahida, we're back! 
Okay. You're back early today. Did you find something new? Sort of. We're mostly sure now that we're not. That we're in not a in a time loop. loop. And we also aren't in the real world. But at the same time, we have. What will happen if we try to leave the city? Leaving the city. As far as I remember, you've mentioned your plans to do that twice before. We did. So we've done it twice. But we don't remember anything. What happened after we talked about those plans? What did we say when we got back? <sighs> Let uh. me think. I don't think you ever actually told me what the outcome was. Oh, it's probably more accurate to say that both times, you never came back the whole night. Oh. But you two sometimes stay out the entire night anyway, so at the time, I didn't think too much about it. Interesting. It so are we actually being dragged back or something? Time during our investigations. Before we know it, it'll already be the next day. Hmm. But still... Neither of us remember anything about so leaving town. So maybe when we leave the town, we're outside That's the scope. Kind of strange. Like outside the range. I should have already awakened all your maybe memories. Maybe this is yep. the key. Something here is definitely fishy. Let's get to the bottom of this tomorrow. All right, let's loop again. Our here we go. Back. We're looping again. Uh, about that. Yeah. Probably. What do you want? Aside from your memories that were just restored, I have another message for you. Another Listen message from who? You'll understand. Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus Festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. Uh, can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Multiple spaces. Multiple time loops. Simulations. Traveler, What's going on? You should be missing two days worth of memories. Paimon will fill you in. Oh! Paimon stayed behind whilst we left. It's time to carry out our plan from yesterday. Okay, right. let's go. Why can't we leave the city? What is the academia up to now? Yeah, oh, what are you guys up to? Anything. This is a direct order from the Grand Sage. Just wait until tomorrow. And tomorrow will never come. Emergency. Or rather, we'll My be living tomorrow. Tomorrow. No. If I don't we'll be living worry, today I'll tomorrow. <laughs> I, I'm getting confused. Your problem. Make sure you make a request in advance next time. Right. But, but it's not like you can just predict business matters in advance. <laughs> wow. It looks like the academia already announced the lockdown for Sumeru City mm -hmm. today. How completely unsurprising. Let's Very unsurprising. Hello, sir. Why can't we leave the city today? Here we go again. Don't ask me. I don't know either. We just received okay. the order that no one is allowed to enter or exit Sumeru today. They didn't tell uh -huh. us anything else. <laughs> they Angry share it won't get you anywhere. If I had that kind of insider info, I would have left this stupid post long ago. Fair enough. Can't we just beat you up and leave? It looks like he really or can we not know. sneak out? If we can't get anything out of him, let's take matters into our climb over the walls. And All right, I, huh? you stay here. Why? I'll leave. Are you going to leave Paimon behind? But, but, Interesting. What yeah. If things get really weird out there, and you get into some trouble. Then, oh, it's not like you can actually I help me that Paimon much. Can't do much but, yeah, if you if we both leave, okay. it'll be the same. We we'll both lose our memory. Wait, was that my phone going off? Uh, memories. Let's go and leave the city again. Uh. I just disappeared. Okay, I'm confused. I'm or, what Come happened? Down. She's here now. I don't think she understood what you were saying. <laughs> Paimon doesn't care. Paimon wanted to go look for you, but you also said that Paimon should stay. Paimon oh, she's so, so adorable. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> but we have to. Re okay. We have to do this again. Paimon. Okay. Paimon, can you tell us your perspective of what really happened yesterday? 
This is getting more and more interesting. I'm actually genuinely interested in what's going on. Using two people's different perspective. After that, you left the city. Yeah. Kaiman kept her eyes on you the whole time, but then you disappeared. We must have went right out of sight. Like, we must have crossed the threshold. Like the border. Okay. What's your perspective, traveler? You sure you don't have any memory of this? I guess that explains everything. You also lost your memories the last two times you tried to leave the city. Okay. Those days' memories can't be awoken. So, if we leave the city, our memories will be completely erased? Ah. Sounds like something big outside of the city is being hidden on purpose. But this way, something's we'll happened. Also never discover what's outside. Hmm. Something Can we leave something like behind other message? than memories? Okay. But Ab, don't look at me like that. I'm, I'm not used to being. I mean, stereo. you're a lot more clever than you look. Well, okay, okay. You want something that can pass on messages, right? Uh -huh. Give me some time and take care of Dunyarzad for me. Yep, now we're talking. Let me guess, it's got to be another knowledge capsule. Wow, she's really sick. Okay, so you've been gone for a number of hours now, so what have you got for what? me? Isn't this just an Akasha terminal? Especially modified one, I bet. Little changes. Mm -hmm. Akasha terminals are already capable of sending messages. Mm -hmm. I just tweaked it so that it can connect to any node. To Can any node? something like this? Nahida, you really know the Akasha like the back of your hand. I mean, this is like a massive <laughs> hit. This, yep, <laughs> I'll help you save the messages. Mm -hmm. It should be pretty easy to use. I just can't guarantee the user's status and signal coverage when they're outside the city. Okay. We'll never know until we try. Let's go then. Let's try Let's it then. Uh, all right. All right. See you tomorrow. Right. Okay. See. That covers everything that's happened so far. Hmm. <sighs> Was what I left for myself when I left. Uh, so that yes. message. Okay, yeah. Doesn't matter which one that we do. Some uh, which one we selected. managed to receive two messages from you when you were outside. Two messages? Okay. Now that you understand what's going on, let's hear the messages together. Okay. Let's hear both of them. She's so adorable. I Can't wish I got go her. Back. Okay. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus Festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. So there are multiple I've spaces. I've another space. Before me are flowing sandstone and howling fish. Impossible and surreal sights. Okay. All these spaces are empty. Except for the occasional ones that contain mute puppets rather than people. Okay. I can't sense any human presence. So those might be spaces where people have been completely drained of their knowledge, the maybe? Down. It sounds like you left the Sumeru city space when you set foot outside of which everything looked completely normal when Maima was looking out from the inside. Mm -hmm. That's unbelievable. And if we take your word for it, the other spaces all had very weird contents. There's another part here. Yeah. We only received it last night. These spaces have been disappearing, one after the other, absorbed by something like a sun oh, in the sky. Oh, I can see the moon. That's quite cool. And now, oh. even the final space has also disappeared. Meaning ours is next. Behind me, a lot of spaces just appeared again from thin air. I get it now. Those spaces are actually... Memories? I don't get it. What? What's going on? End right there. Probably because yesterday just happened to end at that moment. Okay. Oh, right. Paimon did hear a beep from the Akasha. 
Should it come from here? From the message. From the message. It should have come from the Traveler's Akasha Terminal. After the beep, Traveler said, even the final space has also disappeared. Uh -huh. Traveler, what do you think that final space could have been? This one. But then, it can't be the real world, so... My Interpret again? Is, was that sp no. So... Oh, so that's what it is! After the sound of the beep, the final space, the sub festival, also disappears! And we're taken to the next day! Right! Later on, Traveler also mentioned a bunch of new spaces materializing behind them! Do lots of new spaces appear every day? Possibly. Paimon's head is spinning! Just what are these... Well, Simulations, heads. I'm guessing. For all the horrors of the Archon War, at its heart, it was just a game where a bunch of gods fought over seven seats. Uh, so no okay. matter how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, maybe all they point to in the end is a small and simple secret. Wow. And what is the small the secret? War, huh? uh, That's an simple analogy secret. and a half. The Archon War. Now what are we going to do? The day's going to end, though. Do you want some okay, so we walked think? and automatically we are sitting on the bench. Contemplating over what's happening. Right. I don't know how much time we need to organize our fort, but we don't really have that much time, the I believe. The dance of sub is about to begin. I'm going oh, to go watch and it. she's okay. sounding more and more dead, um, which is not go good. Ahead, we still have some other stuff but then again, first. it doesn't make sense. Okay, so, then. the I even the later. academia people, the Grand Sage, have even if that involved, the they're also I'm looping. Awesome. They're actually saying the exact the same thing they said to oh, Nido, wait, which no, doesn't make let's sense. Meet up with Nahida first. You're back. I've been waiting forever for you two. Judging but are you ready to take your sub exam and graduate from the festival? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. First off, have you discovered the hidden truth? Have we discovered the hidden truth? If people from Sumeru do not dream, dreams with no human presence. Okay. The truth we behind are dreams. All in a dream. Okay. So. People in Sumeru think they don't dream. But the truth is, the Akasha steals their dreams without them knowing it. And so, we're stuck inside no a dream. Are stolen dreams without their host. A shared hive mind dream? They sounded so weird when she was trying to describe them. Okay. Huh. So people in Sumeru do dream after all. In fact, we're all in one big dream together right now. That's quite interesting, Correct but also answer. a little bit now, freaky. How did you conclude that the Akasha is capable of this? Hmm. Okay, how about this one? Oh, okay. Those dream controlling creatures mm -hmm. in the forest also get their power from the Dendro Archon, right? That mm -hmm. would explain why the Akasha has the ability to control people's dreams, too. But. There are dream controlling creatures? Dreams have really I have the run Akasha into any of them before? Dreams are fantastical, complex, and full mm -hmm. of imagination. People's brains are the most active when they're dreaming. Are they? In other words, dreams are rich bundles of human wisdom. I don't know why I'm taking so in other words, that as like factual, scientific proof or whatever. I don't remember her <laughs> I don't know how to that best explain it, but yeah. Dreams are foolish delusions. Mm -hmm. And the fact that no one dreams is a blessing from greater Lord Ruka Devada. Mm hmm. Mm. From so it was Pata. all a dirty trick? The real story is that the sages from the academia are useful. And they don't intend to stop. By the sounds of it, you understand the current situation pretty well. So then, what about this? Okay, so. Okay. Mass production of dreams. I think that's it. The Akasha is keeping each person's brain in a constant dream state. Yeah. But also separating their consciousness from their own dream. Their disembodied that's consciousness a, I is don't know. inside the collective dream of the sub Oh Festival man, that's, this is a mental... While their now vacant dreams are harvested by the Akasha. 
No one is any the wiser as another day passes in the dream. And so begins another Oh man, cycle. this is just I don't, this doesn't up feel more well. Another dream about the Subzerus festival. The dreams that belong to them are once again harvested by the But then again, when you write stories so like this where there's so, a little bit of this is like a questionable factory. morality and a li it's a little bit dark, a it makes things interesting. I know there dream. are people who Did can't Paimon handle the kind of stories. I'm very good, Paimon. Find it disinteresting, well, but I'm all for it. This is okay. this is what so that makes story writing interesting. Alright, last question. Who it? The Dendro Archon. Now that I think about it. She's the moon. They say that I'll <laughs> So you noticed. You are lesser lord, Kusanali. Uh, I thought that one would be the hardest question. That's why I put Yeah, you've been throwing hints at us for days now. It wasn't hard at all. Even Paimon guessed that. Everything about you is different. Uh -huh. I just didn't want to expose you at all. Yeah, you, you sound like you're just piggybacking off me. You've been hinting to us since the very be- It's funny. Thinking back to when we were asking all over the place for info about lesser uh -huh. lord Kusanali. Paimon didn't expect to meet you like this. Hmm. I have a lot of questions yes, for you. those can wait until we're back in real life. On the other I hand, take it that Nahida has taken a liking to us. Have about here and now. Why is the dream about I the Subseru right? festival? Why did have to base this dream on my birthday? Could it really just be Is it actually your birthday? Even you don't know the reason? Wow. Now that's strange. The that Academia is very strange. The sages are determined to harvest lots of dreams in a short time, no matter the cost. They have to be up to no good. Unfortunately, it I feels like the academia it. have just Traveler, become heretics. Have any information? Grand Sage's speech. Celebrate the birth of that god? Yeah. Could it mean? How did a sage manage to keep people from noticing Firstly, this? This dreamer in is completely mm -hmm. based on reality. People have already experienced this Subzerus festival. So About it would 40 be very times? difficult for them to find anything that strikes them as surreal. Okay. Secondly, you're probably wondering why people don't have any memories from earlier Samsara, right? Yeah, That's they're usually people don't remember their dreams most of the time anyway. And in any case, their actual dreams are being taken away from them by the Akasha. Actually, if I use Fate Grand Order so as a whenever reference, they whenever they did the time loop in the festival, fourth Lost Belt, they don't remember anything from it the was like um, a hard reset. So, yeah, Paimon. normally you can't retain Traveler your had memories. Traveler dream when we were in the Avidia Forest, but couldn't see mm -hmm. what it was about after waking up. Is that an example of what you mean? Mm -hmm. Yes. Only after receiving the blessing of Dendril can a person gain the Dendril element's dream enhancing power. Mm -hmm. That explains the feelings of deja vu. So Meanwhile, we have the blessing of Dendril? Everyone else has no idea that they are in the Subzerus Festival Samsara, while okay. their dreams are stolen from them over and over again. So. About the side can effects. Can humans really keep dreaming forever like this? I would forever imagine that our bodies are wasting away. When? You might say your mental fatigue has already answered this question. Eventually, there's only so much yeah. that people can tolerate. Look at Dunyarzad. She is those dying. Especially health is compromised to begin with. Like Dunyarzad. This relentless exploitation takes an even harder toll on them. Yeah, she is Pickle literally dying. Are at stake here, and nobody knows a thing! We've got to put a stop to this! Mm-hmm. And why can you tell us the truth? You asked me this question before. My answer was, it would literally blow your mind. No, it now would not. You know this is all a dream? This answer should hopefully make more sense. Have you heard the saying, don't wake a sleepwalker? Uh-huh. Likewise, if someone suddenly... Has no, I don't know what happens. What happens when you wake a sleepwalker? Role? I I think I've heard this before. Dream would be I can't remember what happens. Confusion. I couldn't expose you to that kind of risk. That's oh. why I can only give you very subtle hints and some I think I kind of get it. So just confuse people? Short, I'm really sorry I had to keep you guessing. That's yeah, fine. We're going to go with uh, no more Saving the questions. Of Samaru, after we end the Subzerus Festival yeah. Samsara, we have to look into them. 
we're going to take down the academia. We're going to beat up a bunch of bookworms. In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is long gone. We're going to fart up? And there we go. I'll tell you how to break free of the samsara tomorrow. See you then. All right, farewell. There we go, we're looped again. Good morning, Nahida. Oh, Dinosaur's dead, isn't she? Paimon remembers everything. Should we instead say good morning, Lesser Lord Kusanali? <sighs> Dinosaur's gone. Hey, what's wrong, Nahida? You don't mm. look too good. I'm afraid that what you're thinking right now is correct. She's dead. Did Dunyarzad already disappear? No way. Are are we too late? Is this actually our Real first? No. Consciousness has indeed disappeared. No, that means it she couldn't. Yeah. Tour the constant dream harvesting. That was the last one. I think this is the second. This is the second death in the game. We had it with um, what's her name? The 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 flame witch woman whose name I suddenly I cannot remember. No, sis, we were so close. Someone can't believe it. So Dinosaur's Wait, dead. So what about the other Dunyarzad? Just what is she? Her is separated she consciousness. She's actually something like a puppet, but not completely. Oh, so the lifeless people that we saw in the other dreamscapes no were people who have game. completely lost their memories, like their consciousness. So another Dunyarzad appeared to replace mm. her in the dream. So Just she's like basically a, a NPC, an AI. Actually, calling her NPC in a side game when she is actually an NPC is a little bit. Yeah. Wise, she's nothing like the real Dunyarzad. No. Puppets are stiff and can't copy a living person's vitality. Yeah. After all, they're just their filler. And you know, speaking of which, the old Dunyarzad might not have been too. Now that's a little bit cruel. Dunyarzad truly believed that she met you within her consciousness, and it was you mm -hmm. who inspired her. So you do remember her after all. Of course. Yes. Back then, her family was overly protective of her. No mm. one cared about her personality or thoughts. It was as if she only lived to stall her Elazar. I just sad. gave her a little wisdom so she could look at life in a new way. So that she could be her own person. And she didn't but get to see the so, dance. She still. You are a kind far Archon. from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. I couldn't even save her. If I were a competent Archon... Yeah, but even Fenty, A, and Zhongnei so uh, couldn't... Please don't beat yourself wouldn't be able to help it, her. It's the Sage's fault, and theirs alone! I... I'm not beating myself up. Hmm. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and a real Archon. Uh, yeah, Don't but have you seen the other Archons? Even real Fenty, Archons Fenty doesn't even do too. anything for Mondstadt. He just drinks and plays music. Uh, Zhonglei, Zhongli, he, he works with... Like this. He doesn't even understand the concept of money. As soon as possible. <laughs> Great, he's trying to he's trying to learn the, how to be human, like experience human uh, humanity. And then A, she cast aside the body control, and became even the is unable pretty to much an ethereal being in another dimension and controls a puppet body. But it. still, so far in comparison to the other three that we've met, you at least are so a little how bit better. I find that person? Well. If this is someone's dream, then everything here must come from deep within their consciousness. Which means, with the power of imagination, they can change everything. At least you in this are dream. actually interfering. Imagination? The other three were what actually kind of step back from everything. Imagination means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Mm -hmm. Like when a server at a tavern brings a plate to you, you'd naturally assume that food is on it. However, if you're the dream's host and you become aware that you're dreaming, when you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in kind, and the server really will bring you gold and more. Gold right and more. Our host is unaware that this is a dream. 
No matter how... Find some way to make that person realize that they're dreaming. Usually, once okay. that happens, the person will wake up and the dream samsara will be broken. How are we going to find them, though? If it could be anyone, it'd be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Who are we and looking if we for? Did find them, how are we supposed to make them realize they're dreaming? They are. After all, like you said, don't wake a sleepwalk. It's extremely difficult, yes. But the only ones who can do it are you two. Mm -hmm. Remember, everything you've achieved up to this point has all been for the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. Nilo? As for me? N I mean, Nilo? Uh, is Saya Nilo... Uh, I'll be out of town. Out of town? Why? Are you going to that place full of dreams where the traveler went? Oh, I guess she needs to check yes. up on the other spaces. I want to try something. There must still be a small wisp of possibility. Or maybe. Naringo. Just maybe. This Dreams is bait to lure out the Dendro Archon. Hmm. I'm still a little Because among sort of this. this far, what? What is happening with the um? Fatui. The Fatui person. should be doing something. But yeah. But we mustn't. Paimon's wondering. Do you think the sages would get one of their own to be the host of this dream? Feels Unlikely. Like Knowing the plan, they'll probably become aware that they are dreaming. Uh. Huh. That's true. So well, my guess, it's going, so going to be Nilo. So it's not. It can't be. The host of the dream is. Maybe Ferris and oh, Night of Flowers. That would Maybe. Make sense. So let's go ask him some questions. Hmm. You're back. Okay, so we lo uh, located Ferris. So let's see fine. what's Just going on. A little hard to... An experiment. An that experiment. Let's no... see what happens. I was Let's thinking of you ending the episode, but I think we're just going to go okay. on a little bit. My wish. My wish. Um, okay. I'm you wish for Miss Dunyazar to be happy. I noticed earlier that she I think it's going to be Nilo. And she wasn't really talking I think, to anyone. I think it's honestly going to be Nilo. Nilo is going to be the one like that. Herself. She's always so gentle and kind. And all the kids love her. That is the one who's behind all this. I've also wondered if the reason she asked hmm. me to be Ferris Knight of Flowers is because I'm special to her or something. Oh. So, you have Possibly. a question? Uh, <laughs> she, he does, doesn't he? <laughs> when she placed the hat of the Knight of Flowers onto my head, she said to me, I want everyone to have a happy sub -Zerus festival. Oh man, when everybody wakes up from the dreams and find out that what she didn't realize doing us out is dead. I'm not that interesting. Okay, yeah, that was. That's gonna be much. sad. Felt like the right moment to get it off my chest, but <clears throat> that was pretty embarrassing. Okay. Was it embarrassing? I'm ready to make my wish. I would like Miss mm -hmm. Dunya Zad to appear in front of me right now with a smile on her face. Here goes. Mm -hmm. Please come true. I'm gonna open my eyes. Oh. Oh. You're what? Fucky? Uh, sorry, but only one portion of Yelda candies per person. Back no, you go. wait. Is that the younger <laughs> version of? Uh, nice try, you two. Uh, guess he isn't the host of this dream after all. Oh, I thought she that would be like the younger version of doing us hard. The child version of her. I think it's going to be Nito. loves her, but none of them mm. has any idea that she. My lady, step back. That sounds like Dia. Dia. Oh, right. Okay, let's uh, huh? let's be up the kid. We finally we get to fight. We get to fight. We get to use our team. Okay, I've been holding on to this team for the last. This is the third episode, so the last two episodes. Oh, yeah, here we go. It's you. Great timing. Yeah. Please take. Uh, take two aside and leave. Hey, this is my job. The homie Yanni's pay me, not you. Yeah, you're wasting your breath. You. Yeah, fine. All right. Anyway. Fair enough. Watch yourself. Oh, we're changing the outcome, aren't we? So you got yourself some backup. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's show. Let's teach him a lesson. Right now, emerge. And. Pop, 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 and boom, overload it. Dendro, and we'll just drop a massive lightning bolt. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah. 
Okay, if that's bad. We killed. The <laughs> okay, we killed um, Wanderer. I forgot his name. Oh, there's an archer there. That's why. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're just gonna hack and slash you and fire. Oh, let's do a healing soak. Oh, ouch. Uh. Okay, nope, that doesn't work. Oh. Okay, there we go. Uh. Overloaded. Oh, okay. Uh. Ah, let's just use the food. This is a little bit messy. I'm gonna be doing my seems a little bit better from once we go through our list of characters. Boom, 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 boom. We're just going to drop a lot of lightning bolts. Okay, there we go. And... There we go. No item drops? Oh, there's more, more of them. Ah, whole arms. Ah. Okay, don't know what that does. Okay. That's a fair bit of damage. And we somehow killed ourselves. Interesting. And let's drop a lightning bolt. How are you not dead? Oh, he just turned into sand. Oh. Uh... Okay. Show them. Okay, we're just gonna drop a bunch of lightning bolts and boom. I think we just stuck this guy in the air <laughs> for so long. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh. Okay. And he's dead. Traveler, were you just taking your anger out on those guys? Yeah, we were. <sighs> you and Nahida both. Dinyarzad wouldn't want to see you two like this. Anger will lead us to the dark oh, side. And speaking of her, remember how during the first Sub Zero's festival, before the mm -hmm. Samsara started, we came here with Dunyarzad because she wanted to pick something up? She said what did it she wanted to pick she up? Forgotten something. Mm, yeah, I do remember okay, that. So Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she is staying somewhere around here. She pointed it out to We yeah, should check it out. Even see what it is. Oh, maybe it is doing us out. Doing us out would be. It's rude to enter other people's. The one that would be the host, right? The windows are unlocked. Paimon's okay. gonna go. Uh, Paimon's go on, gonna little one. What is it? This what did she bring back? This is only a temporary residence, so there was pretty much. Should we open it? There's a book, a diary. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So wow. she's Did gathered a bunch of clues for us. Even though she was also busy preparing for the sub mm. festival, she must have wanted to give this to us as a gift on the day of the sub festival, right? If we hadn't found this book, we never would have known. Oh, this makes know, it sad. And with that, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed the content so far. Remember to like, subscribe, drop any comments in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment in the comments below and let me know what you think. It really does help me out. If you haven't already done so, you can also hit the bell icon and turn on notifications. That way you'll get updates for when I upload my new videos. Or follow me on Twitter at Kuroaki Games. I'm also on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Kuroaki Games where I occasionally stream my raw gameplay videos on there or some content that isn't on YouTube. 
You can also follow me on Instagram at Kuroaki Games, and I will see you guys soon.